Thank you for tuning in to SimPilot 2450. It would be greatly appreciated if you guys could show your support for this video and the channel by liking and subscribing so others like you can find the channel. Let's go have some fun. Thanks. Hi folks, welcome back to the channel and another flight with SimPilot 2450. Well, as a follow-up, uh, the last video I did, we featured a video uh, flying from Milford Sound Airport to Queenstown in New Zealand. And we featured the uh, new Milford Sound uh, Airport scenery by NZA Simulations. And I had some viewers mention that uh, they asked if I would fly a flight out to some of the other lodges that NZA simulations have included with the Milford Sound Airport. So I thought we'd do that today. We'll be flying in the Cessna 208 caravan and what we'll do is we'll fly out from Milford Sound, we'll fly up to Martins Bay Lodge and we will restock them and then we'll leave the lodge and we'll fly back and we'll go to Quinton Lodge and uh, bring them some supplies and then we'll head back to Milford Sound. Should be a fun little flight, some good bush flying. Let's get started. We're inside the airport terminal at Milford Sound. We just got in our weather briefing. Uh, we've got sunny skies and light winds. So let's head to the little boys room and then we'll uh, head out and uh, jump in the aircraft and we'll go make some deliveries. But first we need to make a little stop into the little boys room. Got to take care of business. There's the old caravan. Looks like we've got some clouds, but it should be a good day. Alright, things look good there. Let's wash up. Alright, let's head out to the aircraft. It's nice. All right, well, let's head to the caravan and we'll get started. There's Boeing Falls over there. That's the highest falls here at the airport at Milford Sound. It's also a source of water and energy for the township. All right, we're all loaded up. Let's head to Martins Bay. Welcome to the cockpit of the 208 Grand Caravan. Let's get started. So our parking brake is on. Come on with our battery switch. Come on with some cabin lights here. Avionics one, oh come on. Get a fuel 
tanks on. Let's check our shutoff knob. That's pushed in. That's great. Ignition switch is norm. So let's go ahead with our throttle to idle. We'll go full with our props. And our fuel conditioner lever is in cutoff. Wing flaps are coming up. We're making sure they're up. Let's come on with our nav and beacon. Propeller area looks clear. Come on with our fuel boost pump. And we'll come on with our starter. Clear prop. So he'll be watching our N1. Looking for 12%. At 12%, we'll introduce fuel. It's 12% coming in with our fuel cutoff. November Hello. Zulu Mike Foxtrot, traffic Cessna 8 9 or 1, taking off runway to 9 or west departure. And when we get 50%, we can come off with the starter. The starter's coming off. Fuel boost is going back to normal. Avionics 2 is coming on. Everything is looking good there. Come on with our standby power. Alright, let's set our altimeter. DG. Let's go ahead. We really don't need anything on the uh, navigation today. We'll fly it all by by sight. So let's go ahead. We'll set our uh, heading bug to. Oh, let's go to 288. We'll be using 29. Archer. Let's go ahead. We'll select our runway two nine, and we'll get ready for our taxi here. So things are looking good. Let's come on with our taxi lights. Everything is set. good. So let's go ahead and announce our taxi. November Zulu Mike Foxtrot traffic Cessna 89 or 1 is taxiing to runway 29 er Off of the parking brake. Looking clear. A short trip to Martins Bay Lodge. We're only talking 18 nautical miles. We'll unload a bunch of supplies there and then we'll head to Quinton Lodge. Actually, Quinton Lodge is, is closer than uh, Martins Bay Lodge, but we're going to go to Martins Bay first because we want to get rid of some of that weight because the uh, flight into Quinton Lodge and the Strip is a little more demanding than Martins Bay. So we'd like to get some of the weight off the aircraft before uh, heading into Quinton Lodge. Before takeoff, check. No lights, that's good. Fuel boost switches on normal. 
fuel quantity is good. Avionics are set. Altimeter set. Transponder coming to you on. Trim is looking good. Flaps to take off. And fuel conditioner lever coming to high idle. So come on with our landing lights, our strobe. Check final. Looks good. We'll fly out probably at maybe a thousand feet, something like that. It's a very short flight. Might as well stay low. Get some scenery. Alright, here we go. Make sure our torque stays within the red line. That looks good. Okay, start to bring the nose up. 85 flaps are coming up. with the torque. We'll just have a nice gentle ride out here. Coming back with our props. 1700 range. New Zealand Center Cessna 89 or 1 is type Cessna Caravan 1 miles northwest of November Zulu Mike Foxtrot 600 feet. Request flight following. Cessna 89 or 1 New Zealand Center. Squawk 0766. Off of our lights. Squawk 076, 6 Cessna basically flying hands off. Trimmed up nice. You gotta love how NZA has created their own bedrock walls that they've placed along the valley. That 
is St. Anne Point off our left wing tip, and the St. Anne Point Lighthouse. The lighthouse was built in 1937, and it's only about 6 meters tall. Brig Rock right out in front of us. That's the Thurso River. Descend and maintain 13,000 feet, Qantas 1, 2, 3. The airstrip at Martin Bay is 023, so we'll set that into our heading bug, is Brig Rock. be flying over Yates Point. Flying hands off. No autopilot. Look how real the shorelines look. NCA simulations have done a great job with that water masking. The Martins Bay Lodge is up inside this bay here. To no surprise, the bay is called Martin's Bay. The lodge is part of a hiking track. It consists of 16 bunks. So this is the lower Capo River. We we'll also have the Capo River up here, also known as the Hollyford River. As they did in the fjord, NCA simulations has added bedrock and boulders along the shoreline here to make things really realistic. We're looking at the lower Capo River. So the lodge is in here. 
so we'll go ahead and start to basically turn perpendicular so we'll be doing our base leg and we're going to come on with our lights and going to slowly now start bleeding off the speed so to do that I'm coming back with the torque coming back on the power but I'm also holding some back pressure so we don't lose any altitude so what that does is basically that bleeds off airspeed if I didn't put bring in some back pressure and maintain our altitude of course we would die and our airspeed wouldn't decrease so coming back more with the power now and then get back to about 125 and we'll come in with our first notch of flaps So there's 125, first notch of flaps coming in. This stretch of sand is known as the Martin's Bay Spit. The spit is bisected by the mouth of the Cape Po River, also known as the Oliford. Now we're below 90, so we'll come in with our last notch of flaps, our landing flaps. And we'll start to turn final. We'll come in full with our props. And now we'll maintain right around 65, 70 knots and we'll use power to control our altitude or pitch so we want to keep this pitch picture the same so I'm reducing the power a little bit Watching that picture picture. Let's get lined up with center line. Looking pretty good. Coming in a little bit with the power. Decrease that rate of, rate of descent. runway. So we'll come back to low idle. We'll come off with our landing lights. Let's head up and uh, we'll unload. We'll go take a look at the uh, Martins Bay Lodge. Again, this is part of the NZA scenery for Milford Sound. They've got 
multiple lodges they've included, so we're going to take a couple look at a couple of them today. Transponder. Nice and smooth. All right, so we'll stop here and we'll get unloaded. So while they're unloading, we will uh, go in and take a peek at the lodge. off and battery switch all right we'll jump out we'll go take a little peek at the lodge while they're unloading and uh, and then we'll head to Quinton Lodge so I'll meet you outside all right let's head into the lodge On a long journey down here, short walk. Again, this is by NZA Simulations and it's part of the Milford Sound scenery. This is called Martin's Bay Lodge. This lodge is a resting place for hikers that are hiking along the Hollyford Track or Milford Sound Track. There's 16 bunk houses here. There's a helipad. And there's actually a dock where you probably could fly the beaver in or a Kodiak. We'll head down to the dock in a minute. But let's go ahead. We'll go inside the lodge for a sec. Check that out. So here we are inside the lodge. Done a nice job. Pretty fancy. We can go through these doors here. It will take us out to the bunkhouses. The bunkhouses aren't modeled inside, but you still have done a nice job here. So here are the different bunkhouses. looking nice. 
If we take an aerial view here, we can see the helipad. So a neat little place to bring your helicopter. So that's kind of cool. So let's head down to the dock. You notice you could uh, bring again the beaver or Kodiak. the caravan. Let's see this would be a nice little area to touch down on your float plane. Got a nice dock area. So looking nice. Well, all right let's head back to the caravan. Get inside here, don't bump your head. Alright, let's climb in and we'll get going. Alright, doors are closed, seat belts are on, let's get this baby going. So the parking brake is set. We'll come on with our battery switch. Come on with our panel lights here. Avionics 1 coming on. Fuel selectors are on. Fuel shutoff knob is in. Ignition switch is normal. We'll come with a throttle to idle. Propellers coming to full. Fuel conditioner lever is in cutoff. Wing flaps are up. Let's come on with our nav and beacon. Fuel boost coming on. Starter coming on. We're looking for 12%. On the N1. It's 10. It's 12. Going to introduce fuel. Going to low idle. Once we get 50%, we can come off with the starter switch. It has 50%, starter's coming back off, and fuel boost is going to normal. And let's head to Quinton Lodge. Coming in with the power. Stay within our limits. Looking good. Bring the nose up here. 85 coming with the flaps up. Back a little bit with our props, stay in the green. And we'll head back to Milford Sound. Because to get to Quinton Lodge, we basically have to fly up into the sound. And then uh, we'll be taking a right and head up Jeff, the Archer Valley. And feet. So coming back for the power. Back with the props. And now we'll just 
level off. And New Zealand Centre Cessna 891 is type Cessna Caravan, two miles north of November Zulu Mike Juliet, 700 feet. Request flight following. Another good look at the Martin Space. Squawk 4515, Cessna 891. Got avionics 2 turned off because we don't need it. So I'm flying hands off, no autopilot. Another good look at the Lower Capo River. So this is Yates Point. Milford Sound is right in here. You can't see it because it's obscured by the clouds. But uh, this tallest peak right here coming into the sound is Mount Pembroke. It's at 6,600 feet. See the fabulous bedrock cliffs that NCA has added to the shoreline. the power just slightly to start to descend just a teeny bit because we head up into Arthur Valley we're going to be fairly low here's Brig Rock Jetstar 295 you are 1,200 feet below your assigned altitude climb and maintain 11,000 feet altimeter 29 or decimal 9 or 2 see because the lighthouse is only six meters tall. So there's Brig Rock. There's a nice fall known as the Alpine Earthquake Fall that runs up through there. So River. Coming back a little bit more on the power. Let me see. 
see in doing that introduced a very slight rate of descent. As we get ready to enter the sound. Here's another view of the Thurso River and the bedrock created by NCA. Quinton Lodge is on the Hollyford uh, hiking track and it's a bunkhouse that has 50 bunks so it'll be fun to check it out. bedrock cliffs that you're seeing uh, throughout Milford Sound has been hand created by NCA so it really has made the sound look One, two, five, outstanding. Decimal, seven, five, jet start, two, nine, or five. This is beautiful. You'll see some seals here on the rock here or over here. They've done a great job with the bedrock. Sterling Falls. As we look back up in here, it's a hanging valley. Well, hopefully I'm not being too repetitive, but I am a geologist, so this stuff really excites me. A lot of times you can see some seals down here. Here's a better view of Sterling Falls off here on our left wing tip. Jetstar 2 9 or 5 descend and maintain 8,000 feet. Underwater Observatory is back here inside this little valley. We are standing on the docks of the Underwater Observatory. Here's the runway to Milford Sound Airport. We're going to be flying up Arthur Valley because we are going to Quinton Lodge. Sterling Falls. Descend and maintain 7,000 
pay attention now. Flying gets a little tricky. This is why we wanted to get rid of some of the weight as we maneuver up through Arthur Valley. This is Ada Lake. There's a boat landing down here that you might be able to see out your window. It's at a lake boat landing. There it is. MCA has even modeled the rapids coming out of at a lake. Arthur Valley, which the Arthur Valley River flows through. Alpine glaciers carved and removed the rock, made nice U-shaped valleys. You can see this Arthur Valley is deeper than these valleys coming in here. Jetstar 2 9 or 5 descend and maintain 7,100 feet. So this actually creates some hanging walls here. You end up getting some waterfalls. Slowly be reducing the power here, coming back with some back pressure to hold our altitude. So what we're doing is we're bleeding off airspeed. I want to get down to about 125 because we're not too far from Quinton Lodge. And what happens with Quinton Lodge is you're going to come around a corner. And wham, there's the runway. So you don't have a lot of time to slow down. So we are going to reduce our airspeed here. You see right here, these are the dumpling huts. We'll get a better view out the left window. Again, they're on the hiking trail. Let's go ahead and come in with our flats, first notch, come in with our lights, here are the huts, these huts hold about 40 bunks. So here's a few of the dumpling huts. Airstrip's going to be right around this point. 
Good day. Off in some power now. You can just start to see the runway right here. Going to one, two, five, Drops are coming full. And we'll approach somewhere right between 65 70. Come on off with the power again to control our altitude, our attitude, our pitch. Watch this pitch picture here. Get lined up with center line. Come in with a little power to decrease that rate of descent. Looking pretty good. I would say I nailed that landing. We'll get out and take a look here. Lights are coming off. There's really not a lot to see here. They haven't done the insides. So, all right, we'll get out and take a quick peek, and then we'll get back in. Well, there's not a ton to see at this lodge. It's Quentin Lodge. Quentin has about 50 bunks. This here is Sutherland Falls. I don't know what this peak is called. You wouldn't want to fly up into this valley because it's a box canyon. You wouldn't be coming back. So we'll take a little look at the lodge. They haven't done the interior. So really this is all you get to see. So not a lot to see. I mean, it's a very nice lodge. NZA has done a great job. They just haven't modeled the inside, which is actually fine with me. But... This is Quinton Lodge. All right, let's jump in the aircraft and we'll head back to Milford Sound. Let's jump in, fire her up. So let's go ahead and come on with our taxi lights and our landing lights. We'll turn our strobe on. Trim looks good. Flaps to take off. And fuel conditional lever coming to full. Alright.
a fun little takeoff. All right, everything is set. Let's come ahead with the power. Keep it within the limits. It's 50, 60, start to come up with the nose. 85 flaps are coming up. And we'll go ahead and just come right back with the power here. Come back with the props. And cruise our way down the valley. Lights are coming off. New Zealand Center Cessna 89 or 1 is type Cessna Caravan 1 miles north. Tango 0, zero four, one thousand feet. Request flight following. Cessna 8 Niner, 1 New Zealand Center. Squawk 4632. Squawk 463, 2 Cessna 8 Niner, 1. Jetstar 2 Niner, 5, descend and maintain 6,500 feet. Cessna 8 Niner, 1 radar contact, 2 miles northeast of Tango 0, zero four, one thousand feet. Altimeter 2 Niner Decimal Niner 2. You feel like Roger a jet fighter coming through these valleys. Descend and maintain 6,500 feet jet start 2 Niner 5. So on the Arthur River. challenge ourselves today coming into Milford Sound instead of 2-9 we'll use 1-1 uh, one, one. see if we can do it See this U-shaped valley is cut off by this U-shaped valley, which creates a hanging wall here. And you'll get a waterfall in there. So to land one one. We're going to have to come out here do a hard, sharp turn right into this closed One, two, valley. Seven, five, two, nine, five. A nice hard bank. Luckily we have no passengers. We obviously wouldn't do this if we had a passenger. See, here's another hanging valley. And this is where you have uh, Bowen Falls. So we're going to start slowing up. We'll put our lights on back with the power because I want to get down to 125. Make a hard swing here. That's 125. First notch of laps coming in. The runway is off to our left but you can't see it. There it is. Landing flaps coming in. Props coming to full. And let's see if we can do this. We'll approach it somewhere between 70 and 65.
There's our runway. into those rocks, so be careful here turning around. Well there, we did our work today. We uh, replenished two lodges. They are happy. Put on our parking brake. Props coming to feather. Cut off. Lights coming off. Standby power off and battery switch off. Well, I hope you enjoyed the flight. It was uh, really fun doing a little bush flying today. So until next time, have a good one. Thank you. Thank you again for watching. And if you could, please show your support for this video and the channel by liking and subscribing so others like you can find the channel. Thanks.